Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you record macros, they're attached to the workbook in which you create them by default. When a workbook that contains macros is open, the macros attached to it are available for use by all the open workbooks. However, once you close the workbook to which the macros are attached, they're no longer available for use by the other workbooks. So to fix this modest annoyance, Excel provides a personal macro workbook as a place to which you can store macros which you would like to be universally accessible by all the open workbooks on your computer. The personal macro workbook is a workbook that opens every time that you open Excel. However, it's a hidden workbook so we don't normally see it and very many people aren't even aware that it exists. However, you can store your macros here to make them available to all the open workbooks on your PC. Since the personal macro workbook is always open and always hidden, it's always usable by all other open workbooks on that computer. To save a macro into the personal macro workbook, you need to select the personal macro workbook choice from the store macro in dropdown available in the record macro dialog box. Then the macro that you will record will be stored into that workbook. Now once you've stored macros to the personal workbook, you will need to unhide the workbook to edit the macros or delete the macros within it. To hide and unhide the personal macro workbook, you have to select Window and then Hide or Unhide. If you choose Window Unhide, you'll be presented with the Unhide dialog box. To unhide the personal macro workbook, select the personal.xls file and then click OK. That'll show the personal workbook. At that point, you can then go into Tools, Macro, and Macros, and select the macro that you'd like to delete or rename. To then hide the workbook again when you're finished, just make sure that Personal is being viewed currently on screen, and then go to Window and choose Hide. Always remember to hide the personal macro workbook when you're done editing its macros to ensure that the workbook itself doesn't get used or deleted by accident. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.